Woohoo! It's gonna look like different things to different people. But like with Offset and others, they would have been like, bro. Anyway, I'm about to go enjoy my day. <laughs> Son, I celebrate two times a year. I'm a Leo rising, because that's the first thing that you see when you meet someone, you know, if you believe in that astrology type of vibe. And this lioness, <laughs> I would be like, hold on, Will, hold on, babe. But you don't know, maybe Willow and Jaden will do a comeback or I, I wish that they wouldn't though. I'm just going to be quiet because this is really it's coming from a hurt place, all jokes aside. And instead of just talking to the media and everyone else, if I was a fixer, um, serious up, if I was a fixer, uh, and not even, I wouldn't even go on Ayana. He needs to go off scene, off the grid, and talk to a therapist about this. Because, indeed, from his own omissions of just things happening, his, his focus needs to be on him. His focus needs to be on productive music. When you do stuff like this, again, those upper echelons, people with those conspiracy theories, the boule, the Illuminati, even despite those conspiracy theories, you do have people who will blackball you in the industry. And one of his main things saying to get his truth out on the interview was to get his truth out. That interview of him and Yee, Angela Yee. Boom, done. But then he wanted to take it a step further because Will and Jada went to that red table and they're in it for life. Or for their life right now. Because things could change. But doing this right here, this is all on you now. And that means you can stop your own bag. And was this worth it? And in the industry, people will move off from you, have nothing to do with you. You drop your truths, they addressed it, it should have been left alone. <laughs> 